Welcome back fellow YouTubers, this is DM Blair, and tonight's video is going to be on, uh, it's a little product that um, I found in a smoke shop, and I bought it some years ago, and I was hooked on it, and by the time I ran out of it, they ran out of it and never got it back. So, I had to look for it online, and behold, I found it, and the product is Blunt glue. Now, I think this stuff is very handy. Like, <clears throat> you see me, like, fussing around with these blunt wraps when we were using them, how they were coming apart. So that's what got me kind of motivated to track this product down that I had found some time ago in the store. It also comes in uh, this kind of uh, this kind of container. Uh, it's, it's liquidy because it's it's like sugar it's sucrose like syrup like a simple syrup and they really condensed so <coughs> we're gonna open this one up take the product out here come on out of there there we go um we'll have to uh, tear the plastic off all right so here's what the tube looks like it's kind of uh like got a sticker on it that's kind of not too well stickity stuck but it's more like the uh Stuff that's inside is more what's important to me than the actual, <laughs> like, right? Than what the like the tube looks like. Hmm. Whoa, that's weird. This isn't the same as like when I first got it. This actually is kind of different. Wow, that's a brush on there. Check that out. This is definitely different. The, the kind that I had first found was just a uh, was just a plastic end with a hole in it and you just kind of squeeze the stuff almost like super glue but now like they got a really cool little setup here it's got like a brush on the end there which is really cool <coughs> so here's what we're gonna do I'll put this cap back on here and what we're going to do is this, okay? We have a mystery material and a mystery blunt wrap because we're not showcasing any one flower or any one blunt wrap. The video is about this product. So this is what we're showcasing, the blunt glue, okay? So I'm going to put this stuff in here. Hold up. I like to double check it because they make the leaf, this here, this is the leaf, the, the rolling leaf. They make it with so much play in it that sometimes you don't know unless you look of whether or not it's uniform in its roll. So it's pretty uniform to me. So we're going to move on here. Putting the mystery blunt wrap into the roller. Now, I would think that the way this would work best would be to <coughs> pull this back here like this. I, I don't know if this is supposed to. I didn't see how this works. So. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, there we go. Ooh, maybe that was a little much at first. 
Um, hmm. A little schmutzing on the end there. Yes, we had to prime it. Schmutzing. We had to prime it, you see. So, let's, uh, let's try and get this on a little bit. That we could just maybe brush it on like this. Here we go. That's coming out. That's pretty sweet. Nice little uniform amount the whole way around. Can I get this? Kind of maybe like paint the blunt wrap onto the roller <laughs> kind of deal. And we'll just roll it up. And we'll see how that turns out. Bland. Um, the the kind I got before was kind of like a, a sucrose, like a sugary. Eh. Well, now you know what it tastes like. You don't have to wonder and do it yourself if you ever buy it. It's blah. Kind of like paste. <laughs> yeah. Now I didn't I didn't feel any sticky on the rollers, which is really cool. So it's like it didn't even like, didn't even get on there and paste it up or anything. That's really pretty cool. Okay. So now we got our uh, blunt here. And it's glued. That's really awesome. Let's, uh, let's get the moisture on there. Toast it up some. Go. Cheers, everybody. I'm gonna light the sucker up. Wow, that was really nice. Now, my roller kind of left a seam, but I don't think it's gonna be much of a problem. I don't know if maybe laying that down is a smart idea. Okay, so now I'm seeing why it kind of has no flavor. Because I can't taste it. So it's not interfering with the flavor of the herb or the blunt wrap. And disclaimer, this is a tobacco-free blunt wrap. This is a hemp wrap. We won't say what brand or flavor. So know this, you can tell by the look on my face, it's not grape. Because <laughs> I can't stand grape. Uh, it's the wrong flavor to put into a blunt, in my opinion. Oh, I'm sorry. Camera guy, did you want some of this? <laughs> Yeah. Right on. <coughs> wow. So, um, here's the uh, website info. Uh, www.bluntglue.co, which is really co. Sorry, that was terrible. Um... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know. I'm not necessarily sure, like, putting my finger in it and smearing it is is my thing. It might be, I mean, um, <clears throat> I know this company does uh, supply, like, a lot of the stuff that uh, uh, porters 
What well, a Puerto Rican guy's know what Puerto Rican He's a guy that, like, rolls, like, cigars and shit. You know what I mean? I have seen them, like, with the top, like, one of these off and sitting alongside it, just dip their finger in it and, you know. So, blunt wrap is, like, a very popular, it's a very popular, uh, deal. Um, it doesn't seem to be coming apart. Um, is it running more of the, uh, yeah, yeah, see, so here's, here's, here's something to note. Where the seam is, where it's, like, wet, it's kind of, what do you call that, camera guy? I, well, I know a guy who calls it canoeing. Okay, there you go. Canoeing, that's what it was. <clears throat> Basically, what I do when this happens, I just kind of burn it back to, I mean, you know, back to good. That seam just doesn't want to burn. It's a little bunched up in some spots, but I think we'll get it here. I think it'll get to bleeding. It'll get to bleeding real soon. It'll be alright. What you laughing at? I don't get nothing on my new shirt, did I? <laughs> There we go. Now it's drawing pretty nice. Let me get the ashes off there for you, camera guy. There you go. Still a pretty good stack of cherry on there, though. <coughs> Wraps kind of <coughs> chew it up for me. Like, they kind of get my throat all dry and... Home. So, <clears throat> wanna just roll into the daily thing? Yeah. <clears throat> so, we uh, we're not really we're not really showcasing any one flower or any one blunt wrap. <clears throat> so, I'm wondering if we can still use the same system of judgment. Do you think? Uh, maybe we could. I think we could. All right. Because I was worried about one element, but. I guess maybe we got to cover by, we got to cover. So, packaging. Pretty simple. Although we have the classic green and white, which is something I'm a big fan of. Um, it's got like the, all the, you know, the disclaimer stuff. And it's got website information. <coughs> I do like how the product comes in two varieties. <coughs> even though, <coughs> I'm not sure this is... <coughs> A variety that I would be into. <laughs> I'm not sure if it would be. Maybe some of you might be into that kind. <laughs> um, I just seen that this website had two types of its product. Now it had blunt, the blunt glue company. I guess they make uh, glass filters and and uh, papers and a couple other things that's on their website. <laughs> So uh, I suggest you get on over there and check it out. Even if even if it's not blunt glue you're after, I mean I think a, a pack of uh, five glass filter tips was like fifteen bucks or something. So packaging, there we go. Taste that was the one element I was thinking about. Might not, but it does because. I did taste it and established that there is no flavor from it. So it's not like it's minty and it's going to add a mint to your chocolate or your cherry or whatever. Or it's sugar, so it's going to be more like a swisher sweet on one side or anything like that. Which is really interesting because when I first tried this product out years ago, it was really sweet. It was like a sugar-based. I didn't look at any of the uh, 
description of it because I thought I'd already known the product pretty well. So um, maybe I'll work on trying to get some of that extra information to you guys. Um, no promises. <coughs> um, on a scale of one to five, one being the worst and five being the best, it's holding up. I mean, uh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. There's, you know, there's a reason why I was frustrated with these blunts are falling apart. This really sucks. I wish I had some way to hold them together. <gasps> Ding, blunt glue. So that motivated me to get the product, and it is paying off. I like it. 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 Um, <coughs> would I recommend this product? Yeah. 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 If you're the kind, of, if you're the kind of guy who doesn't have a lot of spit, yeah. I have lots of spit. But if you're the kind of guy who doesn't have any spit, spit in a jar or spit in a pen would probably be perfect for you. So it should probably be good. That, I say that would, that's a very unpleasant thing to think about. <laughs> well, basically, I, it's I, fucking. It's I so ordered good. spit offline. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, basically, it's what it is. I mean, if you get. And it, it actually up. has the guy's number who's spitting it. <laughs> you can, it. You can call get, him up. Is it really that bad? <laughs> yeah, um, you can call him up. Hey, bro, this stuff stinks, man. Uh, so, I mean, it's moist, it's wet, so is spit. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I think it works. And I think you should get it if you feel it's a product that you would like to... Uh, <laughs> include into your daily regiment of things. I mean, you've seen as easy as it was to use. And uh, I do plan on putting this in my uh, my case over there and taking it out with me when I venture. <coughs> so why not? Um, disclaimer. I do not work for Blunt Co. Glue Co. Blunt Glue Company in any way, shape, or form. They do not pay me. They do not ask me to say nice things about them. I just uh, give the review and give an honest opinion of the product so that you, the viewer, and or subscriber can make a well-placed purchase. If so, you choose to purchase it. Um, down to the last hit here. Probably one more left. Wow. This product works. <coughs> the fact... <coughs> fact that it doesn't have that sweet flavor like it like I remember <coughs> is a plus. <coughs> the fact that like I can put it on and all I taste is the blunt wrap and the herb. <coughs> that's perfect. That's a that's a grand slam in my opinion. So get on down to uh blunt glue oh it's co blunt glue dot co and uh check them out. Get yourself one. They're not that expensive. I mean I think the shipping was more annoying to me, the cost and setting it up and getting it sent to me, you know, so that was the most tricky part of it all. But other than that, <coughs> I waited quite a while for, oh, no, I, waited, I waited quite a while. And I paid for three days shipping on a Sunday. And it wasn't until yesterday <coughs> and today's Sunday. It wasn't until yesterday that I got the product. So that's kind of a bummer. I mean, I don't know if it took them four or five days to process it. I mean, <laughs> really? <laughs> Five days to process this tiny little tube <laughs> and this wee little and this wee little jar. No. So I, I think maybe it just got mixed around somewhere and lost and shuffled. So buyer beware if you are going to purchase it. It might take you a little while, but it's well worth the wait, I think. Um, I really do. I think it's well worth the wait because it works. And it's a good product. It's uh, on a scale of uh, well, we, I don't know. Can we give it like a, a, a one, a one to ten? Like we do all the, I mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, mean, I don't, I mean, you I, could, but in my opinion, it either works or it don't. Right? Yeah, it works. It's solid. It works. Leave it at that. I agree with the camera guy. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's something you liked, hit the like button, give a share, show all your other friends about this cool product. I mean, I don't usually say that about a lot of things. So I'm asking you this time, guys, if you're checking this out and you like the, the product and you like the video,
do me a favor, just hit the like button so other people can see the product. And maybe maybe that way you're five days waiting for shipping can turn into 11. <laughs> because everybody will want to buy one. <laughs> so until next time, guys, and the next product review, um, which I do have some uh, other little Gigi gadgets and things that are coming up. Weird stuff, oddball things. So till next time, um, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I don't really know. Hey, how do you end? How do you end? How do you? Bye. <laughs> hey, uh, have you ever seen one of these? Do you know what this is? They put this in the blunt wraps, see? And what happens is when you run out of crutches, well, what do you know? Take your trusty little knife and you, and you cut your crutch. <laughs> Isn't that, isn't that amazing? That's good stuff.